Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn at Cloud Analytics. Uh, so today I'm quite interested uh, because I've come up with a new series of uh, playlists. So this series would mainly focus on a new uh, beginners or uh, someone who's trying to make a career shift into Power BI. This complete playlist is the end-to-end -end, uh, topics that would make sure that you are uh, able to implement and adopt to this new technology and also be able to crack your interviews and make a career transition. So for uh, those of you who are new to my channel and if you're watching it for the first time, I'll quickly introduce myself. Hi everyone, I'm Sailaja and I have over 12 plus years of experience into data analytics and I've been doing this uh, quite a, a few months now uh, where uh, I would like to share whatever knowledge that I have within this industry of uh, data and analytics I would like to share the same knowledge with each one of you so that it would benefit in your career and uh, help promote this knowledge sharing am among our community as well so I've already created a lot of videos on my channel so this is my channel where you can see all the playlists and all the videos that I've published uh, so uh, so far uh, I've tried to build some uh, uh, topics which are more focused on real-time scenarios which would be helpful for most of you when you're dealing with uh, projects in a real-time situation but given that uh, none of the YouTube channels that I've explored or I was able to find an information I could not find a specific channel where they would try to teach us complete concepts from the basics to the advanced topics so that someone like you and me can be able to listen and try to understand the topic in a much more better way and try to make a career transition and for that reason I've started to build this uh, uh, series and I've tried to curate all the topics together to make sure that I bring my best onto this uh, uh, trans uh, to this playlist and make sure that this would definitely help you to crack your interviews but not even crack your interviews but also help you to make your uh, uh, work possible like when you try to work on a real-time projects when uh, hired it should be a uh, very easy for you to uh, start getting down to the work so with that said let me just explain what the series is going to look like for the next few days so this topic is going to be the power bi zero to uh, hero series where we would be trying to focus from the very basics assuming that no one is aware of what power bi is and what does that bring to the table and what are the different topics that have been covered within this power bi we'll just go through it so what i've done is i just try to put some topics based on day wise so this would be so the entire series of this power bi course is going to be published on a daily basis so i'll make sure that i publish at least one video on a day uh, on a daily basis so that it would help you to uh, follow along and also give you some time to revise the topic and make sure that you have the ample time to practice it and come back with some question and on questions in the next uh, session. So the day one would start off with the introduction to Power BI. And uh, by the way, this is my GitHub repository where I've just created it for this particular uh, playlist where I've called it by Power BI Zero to Hero. And uh, I've made sure that I've comprised of all the topics that is needed for you to start exploring and uh, making sure that you add the skill set onto your portfolio as well. So the first day would start off with the introduction with the very basics of Power BI, uh, why is it needed and uh, what are the uh, ecosystem, the product portfolio of Power BI and uh, we'll also touch base with the very basics of data warehouse architecture and where exactly does this uh, BI uh, fall into place. And then we will go into the day two, where actually the concepts will start uh, beginning. So the module one is mainly focused on the data connectors and the preparation part, where we would try to understand what are the different types of data connections in Power BI. And then we will slightly, uh, slowly go into the, uh, the data transformation uh, stage, where we'll try to understand how important is it for us to deal with the data transformation layer and how can we do this data transformation which comprises of data cleaning and making sure that the data that we are dealing with is in the right structure that is needed for a reporting layer 
and then we'll understand few other transformation techniques as part of this journey and then we'll also understand how we can do some merge and append queries and what are the differences between both of them and when to use each one of them and uh, there are some uh, best practices as well which we would be covering as part of this module and with that said uh, we will go to the next module which would be focusing on the data modeling now once we make sure that the data is uh, uh, cleansed to the right structure that we require for the visualization layer then comes into the uh, challenge of arranging the tables in a way that they can each uh, talk to each other in the right way and why is this important because in real time it's not that we will only connect to a single table and build some report on top of that but most of the times we would have to deal with multiple tables together which means that we need to understand how are those relationships that needs to be defined and identified among those tables and how does the filtering works while we relate multiple tables together. So there are multiple topics that are falling into this particular module. So for the time being I just uh, split that into two separate days but if that is taking a little longer than expected then probably I would have to split it across multiple days as well. But for the time being, I just mentioned that probably we'll just focus it on uh, day three and four. But we will see how it goes along because like I said, this focus uh, or this particular uh, course is not, as, uh, not just being focused on the theoretical part of uh, conversation. But I'm predominantly focused on both the practical and the real time scenarios as well. So as and when, when we deal with a new topic that is falling into each one of these modules, I'll make sure that how are these topics being utilized and adopted in a project that we would handle. So, and that is the reason why uh, if it takes a little longer, then I would have to extend it for another day or two, and then we'll have to skip the other topics along with that uh, continuation to it. Now, after we cover with the data modeling, then comes uh, the advanced data modeling topics, which is nothing but the DAX uh, formulas. So DAX is one of the vital component of Power BI or at least in the terms of a Power BI developer. So we will go right from the very basics of DAX where we'll try to understand what is DAX and what are the basics of the DAX language and how does it help us to build a very advanced model within Power BI reporting structure. As part of this, we've got multiple uh, functions that have been provided from Power BI. So we will go through each one of those functions uh, in detail, try to understand at least the, uh, the key elements or the key functions that are important for us to focus on. So for me, if I have to pick one or two functions, which is quite important, the first function would be uh, the string functions, then comes the date functions and also the filter functions. So without each one of them, it's quite difficult or uh, it's not expected that we can handle any real time project. So that's the reason I made sure that I would cover each one of these topics in, deep, uh, in detail. We will also do some scenarios as we go along with the series and we'll try to understand the topic in a much better way. Once the DAX topics have been handled, then we go with the data visualization because now we've already handled with the data. We try to cleanse the data, we brought the data into the right structure and then we have tried to handle uh, multiple tables together by relating them together. And then we also added some advanced modeling techniques to ensure that the business logics have been implemented. And now comes the vital place where we are trying to build some reports so that uh, it's easier for business to analyze the key insights out of the data and make some uh, valuable um, notes out of it. So that is where we'll have to understand how does the visualization play a vital role in a BI field and also uh, when should we use which particular chart and what are the importance of picking up the right chart type and uh, uh, what are the prerequisites and picking up uh, each one of them and then uh, we also try to understand how we can add some interactivity to the visuals that are added on the page and uh, we'll also understand what are the different types of filters and uh, how we can handle uh, filtering among uh, different pages and the slicers and everything. And uh, slowly we'll also go into the advanced topics uh, where we'll try to create some uh, security at the data level, which is nothing but the role level security. We'll play around with some data and we'll also go through some scenarios in real time 
and we'll try to do this in life in practical scenario so for every topic that i've tried to list out on this uh, module or across all other modules as well we will try to implement that both in theoretical and also in practical situation so that you know the concept and you would also understand how that can be treated and implemented in a real time scenario and once we are uh, thorough with the data visualization model we will slowly go to the next phase or the, to the next module which is the power bi service so this is the last module of this particular series where we would try to understand once a report has been designed in power bi desktop on our uh, desktop how can we be able to share this particular report to multiple users or business stakeholders or within the project you know because uh, that is another key element to understand the concept so for that we will introduce another uh, product from power bi ecosystem which is the power bi service and we'll try to understand what are the building blocks of a service and how we can log into power bi service and some terminologies that we will be aware of like the workspaces and the permissions and how to handle data sets like the semantic models once published and uh, all of those stuff together and uh, there is also another key element here like uh, the data gateway so we would also be covering those topics in detail at least explore and understand uh, how these gateways are uh, crucial in handling data that comes in from the on premises and how we can make sure that the data is refreshed and updated to real time uh, based on the uh, requirement and then finally we would try to analyze the results by creating some dashboards on power bi service and also try to see how we can also create and publish an app within the organization level and uh, create some content packs for online services so these are in a nutshell how this entire playlist of the series of power bi zero to hero series is going to look like so i hope that the series would be beneficial to most of you and i would strongly request please 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 to watch all of these series together because this particular course like i said is not been published nor anyone had uh, created any such series in such a vibrant and detailed fashion and the only intent out of creating this playlist is to make sure that at least one of you if you are able to uh, get the knowledge uh, upskill and if you are able to make a career transition as you wish that would make a lot to me so until then thank you so much and please 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 keep following my channel and uh, i would be interested to understand what is your level of knowledge in power bi and please leave a comment in the uh, comment box and i would be helping you to uh, understand how your career shift might look like once you make this transition too until then thank you